If you guys are new to the channel, this is my BMW E36 Turbo LS Swap. I've had it for a couple of years. I've made a whole bunch of videos on it. So if you guys are interested in learning on how to do an LS swap like this, make sure to hit the subscribe button and check out a bunch of the videos that I've done on the car. I put a Holley Terminator X on this thing probably a few years ago. Again, I did a video that explains on how to do it. And I also made a video on how to create a cheap digital display from a tablet. But unfortunately, my tablet is so old. When I upgraded to Holley Terminator X V2 software, it wouldn't link up. So I had to get a different digital dash. I'm always looking for new ways to save a little bit of money and to pass that along to you guys. I actually, instead of getting the Holly digital dash that they sell, I was able to get a digital dash from Tinker Electronics. And I'll put a link to this in the description below. You can message them on Facebook currently. They're currently working on a way to get onto Amazon and other ways to purchase it. But I'm gonna install this and I'm gonna show you guys how it works inside the car. It is significantly less expensive than the digital dashes that you'd be getting from Holly. It looks great and works great and might work great for your application. So let's get started. There are three different style dashes that you can get. They sell a five inch, seven inch, and even a 10 inch digital dash. They all look like this, obviously, except for different sizes. This is the five inch. I don't necessarily want a big one in my dashboard. I just like to have it to be able to see, log, uh, look at my ethanol content, stuff like that, that I don't need to look at my regular dashboard because my original gauges actually still work. So this is a great tool for that. This does come with a GPS speedometer as well. So if your speedometer may or may not work on your car, you could use this. And it also comes with a data cable that wires and plugs into the original one for the Holly. So I'm gonna have to go underneath the car to get that through, but then we should be able to make it work after that. I already know what you guys are saying right now. You're saying, Ken, why do you need one of these if the, if the Holly comes with one itself? And I get what you're saying there. Unfortunately, my Holly digital dash, the one that it came with the Terminator after a few years, it doesn't want to work anymore. It always asks for updates and it just, it always changes screens. And plus I can't change anything that's customization wise. And now that the car is on ethanol, I want to be able to see my ethanol content and that digital dash just can't do it. So without using the Holly one that I made with the tablet or getting the, the one that they, that they sell, I'm kind of up the creek. So I always like supporting newer businesses, smaller businesses. And of course I love supporting Holly. I have multiple things with Holly on it, but I like supporting small business and these, uh, and Tinker Electronics is, they were really great with communication with me. And um, I'd like to just showcase them on the channel and, and let you guys know how their products are so you could buy it yourself. Just gonna take off this panel and I'm gonna snake through my, uh, my wires. And I'm probably gonna delete the old cable, which was here. So we're gonna delete that, pull everything out. I'm gonna sneak it through off camera. You guys don't need to see that. But I made a hole in the back of this thing that goes right into, into the car. And this is covered pretty well from the elements. I don't drive it in the rain very often anyway, but I do have a hole back there to get stuff through. All right, with this snake through, I'm gonna disconnect my USB and run this puppy around like that. Has same connection as your original one would. And then I'll just tuck this away and we'll be good to go on this end and then we'll go in the car. Just some post filming stuff I wanted to touch on here. You don't just have to use this digital dash with Holly Terminator X. It works with micro squirt and a bunch of other things too. So make sure you message them and make sure that this thing will fit for your application. It doesn't just work on Hollies. It works on a bunch of different stuff too. Okay, so inside the car is a different animal. So I have my wire here that I'll try to plumb up somehow, some way. It does plug, it just plugs in here like this. So that just plugs in that clicks in. I am going to get a magnet so I can have it right here. I don't have it right now. The other feature that this has is it has a GPS antenna. So I got to figure out a place to put this. But this is pretty cool because uh, if you have a car that doesn't have a functioning speedometer or you have a car that you're like you're wiring up from nothing, um, it's pretty cool to have the GPS speedometer. Now I'm probably not going to keep it on. I'll have it on just to show you guys how it works while I'm driving. And then obviously I might take it off later or maybe I'll leave it on. I don't even know, but I'm going to work on doing that. Now all it does is just screws in like that and you have it. So I'm probably going to end up mounting it like that right over top. And then the antenna can go anywhere you really want it to. It's got a long wire. So if you want to tuck it somewhere, you know, maybe I could wire it to the back of the car. Uh, but the antenna is very long. If you if you want to put it somewhere, um, you have a lot of space to be able to put it places. 
I might just bundle most of this, these wires up and stick it in the window here somewhere. Let me get a magnet for the back of this and we'll be right back. It is in the car, got my rally road stuff there. I mounted it right here. Um, I think it's awesome. I'll probably get some videos of it of me driving, but it mounts up perfectly there. And I'll show a couple of the different screens that you can use as well. This episode is brought to you by Extreme Powerhouse. Whether you have a BMW, a Kia Stinger, an Audi, or a Ford Mustang, make sure you check them out. They have a number of performance parts for a ton of different makes and models. And if you go on there and use my coupon code that I'll put in the description below, you'll get access to some extra special discounts. So here's one of the layouts. I'll go through different ones that you guys see. There's another one. Another one with RPMs on the top. I think that's my favorite. I'm gonna use that one. Five is just a blank one. I think I'm gonna stick with four. There. All the gauges there. So here I am cruising on the way home here. GPS says 70 car says 70 um, there's the gauges there like I said I can take it down if I want to but I like having it the rpms are more accurate um, I can see everything cool it can even check my uh, ethanol content and I'll show you that in a second so if you hit here that button there it takes you to inputs so I have to adjust it here I can the 60.9 is my ethanol content, uh, but I have to. I can change the name of it. I haven't done that yet, but I'll probably change it to like ETH or ethanol. Um, but that's it there. Go back. Oh. All right, so now that this dash is installed, it's totally changed the way I drive in the car. I don't need to carry around my laptop anymore to figure out ethanol content. I have a really, really cool shift light option that the whole top line lights up and I could change the, the shift light to whatever RPMs that I want to shift at, which is really, really good for drag racing. If you guys are interested in these, I'm going to put a link to this in the description below. That way you guys can get access to it. You can either message them or call them and make sure you tell them that Low Boost Film sent you guys for this digital dash. In the meantime, check out a bunch of these other videos that I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.